hello to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine, if you are new. And if you are not, thank you so much for coming back. Everyone who has been liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, I really appreciate it. So much gratitude. So in today's pick a card video, we're going to be taking a look at messages from your spirit guides. This should be a quick reading. It's the middle of the week and I know y'all got stuff to do, but I do have three piles in front of me. Pile number one is over here. Pile number two is right here in the middle and pile number three is right over here. So go ahead and take some time if you need to pick your pile and I will have all the timestamps in the description box down below and I will see you guys there. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading on a quick little message from your spirit guides. All right, so you guys have the universe has big plans for me. It's time for me to claim them. All right, pile number one. <laughs> so you heard it. Step into your power. All right. Take your piece of the pie because you have something that you need to achieve in this lifetime. You're destined for greatness here. All right. The universe has big plans for you. So this is really, really asking you to step into your power here. Let's go ahead and elaborate for my pile number one. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Wands in reverse. God damn, are y'all fire signs or what? All right, bottom of the deck energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. All right, so a lot of you could be in a situation that you need to release here with the queen of wands and the knight of wands in reverse you could be dealing with somebody who's really really immature um let me go ahead and get some clarity on the aspect of your life that this is pertaining to pile number one for most of you this is going to be a relationship all right you could be dealing with somebody who is really in and out of your life you could be dealing with somebody in a sexual way um that just is not serving you here all right, page of wands. This is the card that says we need to talk, okay? This, <laughs> and then we have the ace of cups again at the bottom of the deck. It's in reverse this time. So yeah, I can see that um, with the universe has big plans for me. This is telling you to take your power back from the situation. Even if it's not a relationship or it's not a person and this is maybe like a job or maybe you feeling unconfident, unmotivated with your creative projects. With this page of wands here, uh, I see that your creativity uh, is coming back. All right, with this knight of wands in reverse and this queen of wands in reverse, you guys could have been feeling uh, like you hit a wall, all right? If you have some creative projects or things that you're working on, uh, this is saying that the universe has big plans for you and this is going to be coming around full circle. I noticed how this page of wands is looking the other way, right? So whatever you guys are going through on like back here in the back end, regardless of like I said, if you are, if, you, if you've hit a wall or if you are entertaining this knight of wands in reverse somebody that does not serve you here somebody who has lied to you or someone who does not have your best interest at heart i see you turning your back on this past situation onto something bigger and better here with this new opportunity coming in with this page of wands pile number one let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers we have the hierophant we have the magician in reverse and then we have the world perfect bottom of the deck ten of cups this is your happily ever after your dream come true this is the big plans that the universe has for you but you have to trust the the guidance that you are being given pal number one and i feel like you know what that is with this magician card here in reverse a little uh some of you could be feeling a little insecure or a little unstable but there is something or someone in your vicinity that that does not have your best interest at heart and i feel like you are really being urged to let this situation go mm. and as i say that look at this 10 
of swords right underneath the ten of cups something in your life is coming to a completion here pal number one and you know what it is okay don't play with me all right and i'm not saying this to get on you all right because i love you but i want the best for you so this is asking you to step into your power to take what is yours because with this world card here you are completing this cycle of past bullshit all right whatever this is like i said regardless if this is a person or somebody who is making you feel unworthy you are stepping out of this because you have new opportunities coming in for you pal number one and this is amazing okay let's go ahead and get you some oracle cards for my pal number one all right so we have a look at the bigger picture so this is telling you to look at the bigger picture and you know really kind of figure out what you want right like if you are entertaining somebody let's say sexually um and it's just for now like if you want this ten of cups you want this family you want this happily ever after start planning for it okay start looking at the end goal because it's time for you to claim your power take your piece of the pie and just <laughs> really just get what's yours to be honest and then we have prosperity lies ahead that is amazing all right a new start is coming yeah y'all go ahead and move around all right look <laughs> i'm just being honest with you move around release what does not serve you because you have nothing but abundance pal number one headed for you with this prosperity lies ahead and this new start is coming this page of wands that is turned this other way this world card this completion i am vibing right now with this pile and i know sometimes it hurts okay we care about people we care about things and you know our past does hold us back sometimes but this is just letting you know that like follow your intuition and go with your gut because this is bringing you a lot of abundance all right you don't owe anybody anything period all right romantic partners friendship if you have evolved and you see that something is not working for you anymore you don't owe anybody any explanation you gotta do what's best for you pile number one okay period let's go ahead and get a couple more oracle cards before i end your quick little reading today all right we have higher power see you're being divinely guided out of this situation and the universe your spirit guides they want to let you know that they have your back pile number one you have nothing to worry about all right especially with this ten of cups at the bottom of the deck here mm-hmm we have why so yeah some of you guys could be asking why right why this person can't come with you why do you have to release this and i know that's really really hard sometimes especially once we created relationships with somebody um but this is just saying that this person this person is not meant to go to the next level with you okay when you are on your spiritual journey and when you are ascending it, I know it could be really, really hard because I've had to deal with this myself, but not everyone is meant to stay with you on your journey, pal number one. It's just not. All right, and then we have message in a bottle. All right, so yeah, your spirit guides are really trying to communicate with you or, I mean, with this page of wands here, you guys, some of you guys are going to be receiving a message for a new opportunity, all right? That's coming in. But this is really urging you to follow your intuition and to really step into your power and go towards this Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have round and round. Yeah, some of you guys are in a karmic cycle, all right? You're giving somebody chances after chance and this person or this situation does not serve you boo okay um but you don't have to worry because you have a new start coming you guys are coming out of this because the universe is cleaning up house in your life okay and you have nothing but abundance in the future with prosperity lies ahead and i'm already knowing you're gonna make the right decision all right 
So I'm going to leave you with that power number one. Hopefully you resonated with this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number two. This is going to be your quick reading on a message from your spirit guides. I'm going to go ahead and flip over your oracle card. You guys have... When I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. And that is beautiful. So what this card is really saying is to mind your thoughts, pile number two. If you guys have been having some negative thoughts or some bad thoughts about your situation, which I know is easy to do, especially if your situation isn't ideal, this is asking you to align with the frequency that you are trying to manifest into your life. For example, y'all ever heard of like lack mindset, right? I'm sure everyone's heard of that. When you are th constantly thinking that you're broke or you don't have money or you don't have things, you're just like, man, I'm broke. Like, I don't have enough for this. When is this going to end? You are subconsciously sending energy and signals out to the universe that you lack right so you are going to continue to lack so this is saying find the sil silver lining and the positive situations around whatever you are trying to manifest whether that be abundance okay money a love relationship peace in your everyday life whenever i try to manifest something I try to stay in a frequency that is going to be easy for me to stay in for most of the time. And for me, that is the frequency of gratitude, okay? I'm always praying, I'm at my altar, I'm always saying the mantra, the simple mantra of thank you, all right? And that's not gonna be for everybody. Some people like to stay in a more like, peaceful state or some people you know that frequency is just going to be of them being like happy but whatever that is for you go ahead and attune to that frequency and i promise you whatever you are trying to manifest into your life will come in effortlessly all right so be happy you have to believe in things that you can't see all right because when you get a gift right when somebody gives you a gift on christmas or on your birthday or something like that you open it up and you're happy you are sending signals to the universe that you have just received something right you are happy because you receive something so you have to act like that even when you are not receiving because then you are sending signals up to the universe that hey I'm supposed to be receiving and then you are aligning yourself with that and then your manifestation mm, it was just gonna effortlessly flow for you pal number two okay all right let's go ahead and pull some tarot for my pile number two what do they need to hear what do they need to know right now a message from their guides All right, we have the star, right? Yeah, this is the star. My pile number two. And then we have the queen of pentacles. She is in reverse. And then we have the page of swords he is also in reverse bottom of the deck energy we have the seven of cups in reverse and then we have the knight of cups and he has his back turned here okay all right so pile number two uh some of you are going through a hard time here especially with this queen of pentacles in reverse and this uh page of swords in reverse you could be healing from a toxic connection it doesn't necessarily have to be that for all of you with the queen of pentacles in reverse you could have maybe lost a job or you could be having some financial issues but for those of you who are getting over a romantic partner or a relationship um, with this page of swords and queen of pentacles in reverse here this could just be a situation where somebody said something bogus to you okay somebody said something that wasn't nice to you they cut you with their words and you're feeling a little bit unstable right now you could be feeling sad but with this star here this tells me that you guys are going through or will be going through an intense period of healing okay so the message from your spirit guides is just 
take some time out to heal yourself you know whatever however much time you need you know it doesn't matter with this seven of cups here in reverse i feel like some of you were in a situation where maybe you were a little bit clouded or something like that maybe somebody was lying to you and you finally decided to see things for what it is and i know it's disappointing I know it's disappointing when somebody or something hurts you. Like for, like I said, for some of you, this could have even been a job situation. Um, or maybe you recently like lost some money. But this is saying that better days are coming for you. Better times are coming for you. Especially here with this Knight of Cups. All right. There is something on its way to you here with the Knight of Cups, but his back is turned. You can't even see it. So this is saying once you align with the frequency of joy. Um, and like I was saying, like, I know that's hard when things around you seem like they are falling apart. All right. In times of trouble, it's easy for the ego to cling to lack and fear that we must fight pile number two to keep our strength and presence through love and gratitude and in your manifestation whatever whoever this knight of uh cups is or whatever this knight of cups is for you is going to be flowing effortlessly to you in no time okay let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers we have the ace of swords clarity i see some of you think uh some of you are cutting things out of your life in order for you to heal in order for you to follow your true path and reach your greatest potential here all right we have the five of swords in reverse i'm gonna get one more card for my pile number two and then we have the fool in reverse bottom of the deck energy we have the king of wands his back is turned and then we also have the world card which is amazing to see yeah you guys are completing a cycle you are shedding what no longer serves you regardless if that is a person or a job um if it was a person i feel like they're a little bit childish all right and they might have said some things to you that were very very hurtful it seems to be like a lot of conflict here with the five of swords that you are about to leave out of or you're walking away from it looks like the universe spirit god whatever you believe in are cleaning up house that's why you have this ace of swords here you have received clarity and you are cutting these people these things out of your life because they no longer serve you with this uh, king of wands here in reverse, you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it definitely doesn't have to be. But when the queen, but when the king of wands comes up and he is in reverse, he can definitely signify infidelity. Okay, he can signify somebody who was a bully. All right, someone who is just kind of really full of themselves. So if this was a person that you were dealing with, especially paired with the page of swords in reverse. Um, yeah, this person definitely could have said like some things that weren't nice to you. Um, but you are moving on from this energy and you don't have to take it. So this is your spirit guys letting you know that, hey, you don't have to take it and you have better days and better things that are coming toward you, pile number two, especially here with this world card. This is completion of a cycle. This is you moving on to a brand new cycle in your life that is going to lead you to a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance here. Let's go ahead and get you some Oracle cards for my pal number two. From their spirit guides messages for my pal number two. We have be bold and make the first move. You don't have to stay anywhere you don't want to be. So some of you guys are still entertaining this. This is letting you know that you have the authority to leave a situation that you don't want to be in. Expect powerful change and expect powerful change in your situation. For some of you guys, if you've already left this situation or you're going through it and you're feeling a little bit low right now, this is saying that this is not going to last forever because soon this cycle is going to be complete. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. So, <laughs> this is just saying that if you want better 
essentially you have to do better go ahead and plan for the things that you want in your life if you want a loving relationship if you want a better job a career go ahead and make a plan for those plans for those things right now and then align with your plans if you're telling the universe you want a loving relationship and you're entertaining somebody who is not giving you those things um, this is just saying go ahead and align with the frequency that you want messages for my pile number two we have higher power all right so you guys are definitely divinely guided by your spirit guides and by the you know god universe whatever you believe in so don't ever feel like you are alone because you're not and then we have a leg up because this is working out for you you're receiving a leg up in this situation all right but you gotta be bottom of the deck you gotta be flexible okay you have to Give the universe and God, like I said, whatever you believe in, room to work, room to allow this manifestation to come in for you. So this is asking you to see things from a different perspective. Some of you guys might have a plan in your head or your uh, eyes set on something or somebody that is not in alignment with you. So this is saying that the universe knows what you want right the universe knows your heart's truest desires so be open to receiving and be open in the different ways that this manifestation can come in for you pile number two because it's coming all right because you guys are divinely guided this was an amazing reading i'm so excited for you guys hopefully you resonated with it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is going to be a quick little message from your spirit guides. I'm going to go ahead and flip over your oracle card. You guys have, when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with the ever-present stream of well-being. This is saying that you are taken care of and you have nothing to worry about, pile number three. A lot of you can be... Mm, trying to worry about the details too much and whatever you're trying to manifest in your life some of you could be going through a hard time um, but this is just saying that you don't have to control a situation this is giving me like really hangman energy hangman vibes this is asking you to go with the flow all right instead of trying to figure out how you're going to make this work or how you're going to do a b and c let the universe figure that out for you all you have to do is make sure that you are taking the right steps and you are in alignment for this manifestation to come in and you're going to be taken care of you're worrying about how this is happening when this is happening what you have to do when that's not how it works all right stand back and receive your blessings i feel like this is telling you to step into a more feminine type of energy okay you guys seem to be really in a masculine energy where you're trying to do 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 make things work when this is saying hey your spirit guys got this your spiritual team has this so let them do their job things are being orchestrated behind the scenes for you Power number three. Let's go ahead and elaborate. For my pile number three, we have the nine of wands. <laughs> yeah, you guys are working. There's too many cards that fell out. Messages for my pile number three. All right, I guess we're taking these. We have the five of wands we have the five of cups and then we have the seven of swords in reverse bottom of the deck energy nine of cups see there's your wish fulfillment right there boom it looks like you guys are going through a big change right now and some conflict here with the five of wands and the five of cups all right you could be really on the defense Let's see, what aspect is it of your life is this talking about though? What's the overall energy? We have three of pentacles in reverse. So this is definitely a work situation for some of you. If not, uh, for a few of you, huh, then we have the devil toxic ties here, bottom of the deck. If this is not a work situation for you, this is definitely um, a relationship for some of you. Something that is not working out here. Now, this is saying that release what does not serve you. All right, with this nine of wands here, you guys are trying to fight to the finish. 
and this might not be in alignment for you whatever the situation is with the five of wands it could be conflict it could be competition somebody could have you in a third party situation here or if this is a job this is not making you happy we got six of cups right under that in reverse it's a sad memory but with this five of cups here in reverse i see you leaving out of this struggle and finding out finally what has been working against you here with the seven of swords in reverse this is clarity so yeah, this first card here is telling you definitely surrender to the divine, okay? If some of you are wondering why your blessings are not flowing in or why your manifestations are not flowing in because there is something or someone in your vicinity that is blocking that for you. So with this pile, I feel like it's more of something that you have to release um, to have this come in for you. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers. For my pile number three. Clarifiers for my pile number three. All right, we have the devil popping out again in reverse. The five of swords. You guys have three fives right now, okay? This is big. This is big change. But I feel like a lot of you guys are going through like a time of conflict, really stressed right here with pile number three. We have the ten of cups in reverse. And then we have the queen of cups. Bottom of the deck energy is we have the empress. All right. So although this is some of you guys might be in a position right now that is not ideal you could be feeling very very uncomfortable okay this is saying that this is not forever though you are coming out of this especially with the empress card at the bottom of a deck this is stability but with a devil card here in reverse is asking you to put up boundaries and release things that do not serve you go ahead and break those bad habits go ahead and break those toxic connections with whoever they may be with because with the five of wands here and the five of swords something is having um you have a lot of conflict in your life right now some arguments some competition something is a little bit out of, out of balance here and your spirit guides are urging you to come into balance with the ten of cups here and the five of cups something or somebody could have disappointed disappointed you to make you feel like your world has been turned upside down here it seems like you guys thought you had a happily ever after and that did, did not come through for you with the seven of swords here like i said something is coming to light here with the seven of swords in reverse something or someone that has been working against you you're finally finding out here with the queen of cups this is a very intuitive card you guys have an inner knowing you could be water signs cancer scorpio pisces definitely doesn't have to be but this is showing that you are going to be pouring into your own cup power number three after you find out and i, I believe a lot of you know here what is working against you what is not for you so this is telling you to put your time and your efforts into yourself here with the empress card okay stop giving your time and energy to things that do not serve you because with the justice card here at the bottom of the deck in reverse there's an injustice happening in your life right now and with the ten of wands i'm going to stop pulling these cards at the bottom of the deck but with the ten of wands you're carrying a very very large load okay a heavy burden with this justice card here especially in this deck in reverse i always read it as somebody or something being two-faced towards you so somebody could have definitely lied to you somebody could not be being honest with you um or some of you could not be being honest with yourself about this situation or this person and i'm not trying to get on you pile number three i love you you know that all right i'm here telling you this because i care about you and i care about your future but you know if something or someone is not treating you right or giving you anything less than you deserve it is time for you to move on and i see you doing that here with the queen of cups you know, embracing your divine feminine energy and being open to receiving. Let's go ahead and get you guys some Oracle cards for my pile number three.
yeah a lot of you guys are trying to hold on and control this situation Oof. this has got cards going everywhere just a mess nothing new here <laughs> You have you are good enough full moon in virgo so know that you are good enough to receive everything that you want to desire pal number three and if anybody has made you feel less than that then they are wrong we have believe in the impossible so definitely have faith in your dreams and in the things that you want to manifest into your life because these things are coming through for you you know with this pile uh earlier i was saying that you guys may be kind of like trying to control stuff or worry about the details this is saying that even though you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel even though you don't see something working out or you have no idea how this is going to work out for you that's not your job all right that is the universe's job to figure out how this is coming in for you so just trust that this is coming in for you believe in the impossible because this is happening period we have take time to breathe out so yeah i feel like we don't have a lot of swords in this pile but i feel like you guys are in your head you are thinkers so this is saying take just calm down all right take time to breathe out because regardless this is working for you all right prosperity lies ahead do you see that i can't make this shit up you guys have a lot of abundance headed your way regardless if you see it or not just make sure like i said you guys are releasing thing that releasing things that do not serve you if this is a toxic connection with a relationship or another individual or like i said maybe even a job but for a lot of you with this three of pentacles in reverse you could be having some money problems or you could have even lost a job and you could be tired of like doing applications or nothing's really working just know that the universe has a plan for you okay let's go ahead and pull some last oracle cards for your pile for my pile number three all right we have round and round yeah some of you guys are in a karmic connection a toxic connection with another person that you keep giving them uh chances taking them back or just listening to what they have to say and it's like a never-ending loop you're going to be completing this cycle soon you are going to be releasing this person that does not serve you Let's go ahead and flip these cards over <laughs> for my pile number three. We have time to go. Yeah, a lot of you are releasing something, all right, whether it be a job, whether it be a person. And I feel like once you release this and you surrender to the divine here and you stop trying to control the outcome of this situation, um your your blessings are just gonna effortlessly flow in okay like i don't want to throw no shade here and say that this thing or this person is blocking your blessings but like low-key they are we have unfinished symphony all right so we have round and round unfinished symph symphony i feel like you guys are in some sort of toxic karmic loop like i said where you keep going back to somebody or keep giving somebody chances or having hope that this is going to work out this is not meant for you Power number three, you have greatness meant for you. And as long as you entertain the situation, I feel like um, this is blocking uh, your manifestation for coming in. But we have prosperity lies ahead here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm already knowing that y'all are going to make the right decision here. All right. <laughs> and then after this, we have co-create. You are co-creating with the universe to make the life that you want. And this is happening for you just making sure that you are in alignment with your manifestations and you are taking the necessary steps to have this come into your life all right so i'm gonna leave you guys with that hopefully you resonated with this reading don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time yeah.